On the 17th of July 2021, UPDF and Uganda police launched a peaceful disarmament operation of three months. Wosalama Kwawote, amidst a resurgence of insecurity and cattle raids in Karamoja. The operation was aimed at bringing an end to the senseless killings of huntsmen and innocent civilians by cattle rustlers in possession of illegal firearms. Riding with, this, with the guns, that is a curse. Those guns are going to finish you. Be ready to cooperate with the forces. Despite of the intelligence clause or proliferation of small firearms from the Tilkan land, Somalia, Chad and South Sudan, ending in Karamoja sub-region, a three-month ultimatum mop-up operation to stabilize the volatile Karamoja free from illegal farms could not be tenable. As you have been seeing, the president has been uh, promising to talk to the, the other side so that they also do their part as we also do our part. We have done our part first, so we are able to, to do uh, protection of borders so that illegal guns don't, don't enter the country. Security experts opted for voluntary disarmament to meet the set objective of pacifying the region that was at the verge of sliding into anarchy. Rest assured, that gun you saw yesterday, you did not report, it will kill you. In October 2021, the command of the UPDF 30 Division, Brigadier General Joseph Ubali Kodembe, got back to the drawing board to redefine their strategy in disarming Amdi Kadima Jong. Top on his agenda was to get out action, defend Karama Jong warriors, and plan B to listen and give chance to those willing to surrender illegal guns and ammunition in their possession to the different tributary units in the theater operation. We have extended to Sarama Kwawote for more three months by addressing the challenges that we faced in the first three months. In the operation to clean up Karamoja intensified with the specifications first to conduct a condon and search of arms hidden in homes of warriors and their sympathizers and as well take the operation to the shrubs in the wild where some of the illegal guns are reported to be hidden. You saw the man who was hiding himself in that bush. You, you saw him, you sat near him, but you could not tell us there is somebody hidden there. Immediately we got the two guns dropped in that bush, the three magazines. Tell us the ones who have those guns to bring them, or we shall be with you until the guns are got. Next on the agenda was a clear shoot to kill order of warriors who would attempt to engage UPDF men and women in retaliation action packed. If, if you cooperate well, we shall also cooperate with you well. If you refuse, we, shall, we are going to use force and make sure that we recover those guns. The outcomes have been bitter to the defiant warriors. An extract from a Joint Intelligence Committee report indicates since the onset of the operation, so far 85 wrestlers and warriors have been put out of action. Three cattle rustlers were put out of action in different ambushes and guns recovered from them. With this positive action in stabilizing the Karamoja region, a division court martial was set to try those in possession of illegal firearms, according to military laws that criminalizes any person found with unlicensed firearm, if not a military person. will be aligned before the court and uh, and answer the charges of illegal possession of firearms. As a result, 600 people have been arrested, 386 tried, convicted and sentenced. have been charged to court, convicted and sentenced in the division court martial. Russell has damages beyond imagination. Since the operation began, they started attacking each other, accusing one another of acting as a double collaborating agent. However, out of fear and suspicion among themselves, the current security report indicates 160 civilians have been killed by the Russellers. Yes, yes.
It is now almost six months of the operation. Dabdi Usalama Kwawote, 139 guns recovered, 1,303 ammunitions recovered from the region. The operation forces are catching up with them. They decided to officially hand over their weapons they have been using. Recorded their names, we have given them voluntary disarmament cards, of which I think it will help them to be free within the society. Security accounts, 15,122 cows rustled and 14,088 recovered. At the moment, UPDF and other sister security agencies are carrying out necessary verification to return some of the livestock to the owners. 53 out of those were recovered and handed over to the owners. We are still searching for the remaining candidates of that. The operation attracted Deputy CDF Lieutenant General Peter Irello to hit the ground to energize field units commanders and the boots on the ground. Let us have that, that, that let's engage with this group. It's out there. At the beginning, the operation faced challenges ranging from limited manpower and machinery. The field command of the UPD 3rd Division, Brigadier General Joseph Obali Kudembe, had to seek for more support. You are going to see forces and the chopper, the helicopters, looking for those thugs that are hiding in these hills. Despite using force, the room for voluntary disarmament still exists, and the government has dedicated amnesty for those surrendering to closing on government forces. Amnesty, bring the guns. We want to settle you to live a better life. This is the second disarmament exercise, and the first one was conducted in 2011, which created a reasonable period of peace in the region. Abdul Nasir Lubama for UBC.